And now it's time for everybody's favorite game show, What Stupid Thing Will Dale Ellis Do Next? With your host, John Keister. Thank you, thank you. And welcome to What Stupid Thing Will Dale Ellis Do Next? Let's get started by having our contestants remind us of last week's guesses, starting with Bill. I said he'd get eaten by wolves. Oh, good guess, Bill, but not this week. Ed? I said he won't do anything stupid ever again. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I said he'll get his butt kicked by somebody. Oh, uh, judges? Oh, I'm sorry, Ed. That wasn't specific enough. Tracy? I said he'll get his butt kicked in broad daylight by teammate Xavier McDaniel. Absolutely right. <laughs> okay. Now it's time for our look back at stupid things in Dale Ellis's past lightning round. First question. In what city was Dale first arrested as a Sonic? Bill? Dallas. Right, now a two-parter. Dale's wife has fought with both... Uh, Tracy? Alton Lister's wife and Dale himself. Correct. Next question. What was... Ed? The freeway on-ramp divider. Yes, great answer. <laughs> All right, last question. What was Dale's excuse for missing his day in jail? Bill? He thought they were going to send a limo down to pick him up. Wrong. Ed? He thought Coach Jones was going to send a substitute for him. No. Uh, Tracy? He overslept. Right again! Okay, well that ends this week's competition with Tracy in the lead with 900 points. Now let's take a look at your predictions for next week, starting with Bill. I'm sticking with he'll get eaten by wolves, John. Okay, Bill. Ed? I said he'll quit the team and take a job as a Metro bus driver. All right, Tracy. I say he'll get his butt kicked in broad daylight by teammate Michael Cage. <laughs> well, that's where I'd put my money, but we'll find out for sure next week on What Stupid Thing Will Dale Ellis Do Next? See you then. What Stupid Thing Will Dale Ellis Do Next has been brought to you by your local nightclub association. Nightclubs, a good place to get crazy. And the makers of fast cars, drive one today. And the manufacturers of fine sleep alarms, you'll never oversleep again. And your local highway repair crews, you hit it, we'll fix it. <laughs> Stay with us. We've got a great show, and we'll be right back.